Hello? Yep. Uh, okay, so I'd like to talk about uh, single owner memory. So uh, this is like a very specific use case for Google, but uh, uh, and we want to have some optimizations around this uh, use case. But uh, I'd like to get some opinion about um, uh, the proposal of how we can address it and also uh, to see if there are others who are having like a similar, similar problem. So basically, a single owner memory is a type of anonymous memory that is never shared. So uh, examples would be TC malloc, malloc, and uh, no forks after that. A map uh, followed by something like I'm advised do not fork. Um, and um, in Google, over 90% of our memory in the fleet is never shared. So the, the reason is that uh, we uh, don't use uh, processes, we use uh, threads and um, if we use forks, they are followed by execs. It, uh, single owner memory also works for uh, in virtualized environment where we have, okay. <laughs> it will probably come back. Uh, so uh, it, it also works uh, in virtualized environment because um, uh, VMM can have uh, basically something like a single owner memory uh, for a virtual machine and inside the virtual machine uh, there can be all, like all kind of allocations, it doesn't really matter after that. So what are the problems? The, the main problem for us, there, there are actually two problems. Uh, well, the main problem is the overhead. So to, uh, today we use struct pages and uh, some other metadata and overall the overhead is about 1.6% um, to manage pages. Uh, and um, this overhead results in uh, petabytes and petabytes of uh, DRAM in Google. And DRAM is the most expensive part of the servers. So it, it, it's a very expensive overhead. And uh, so we, we know that we use the memory uh, in this single owner memory mode uh, but uh, this 1.6% overhead is uh, to manage all kind of memory. So it, it can be sh shared, named, um, and, uh, and, and so on. Um, so can we reduce this overhead? That's basically the first question. The second question is the security. We've uh, had in several problems where accidentally and uh, by inspection and, uh, and also because of uh, crashes, we detected uh, falsely shared uh, pages. So uh, some of the uh, some of those pro problems were detected accidentally, where someone would look at the uh, crash of an application and find uh, code that belonged to another application. Other times it would be like the full system crash. Uh, others we detected using actually a page table check. Uh, which uh, I edit in 517. It's a mitig mitigation technique to check that uh, the anonymous pages are not inserted in any other page tables um, in another application. So the, the problems uh, were caused by the bugs in ref count. Uh, uh, other problems were caused by, because uh, drivers would um, allocate some memory, uh, or map it to, into the user space, and then uh, later the driver would free that memory when it's unloaded, but the, it wouldn't remove the entry from the user space app, and that page can be uh, allocated again. And, uh, so, so basically, the, 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 the there are uh, cases where the memory can get uh, falsely shared. So, and uh, in, in another problem is the performance, is that, uh, uh, so today, uh, we use, uh, most of the memory that we use is single owner memory, but uh, uh, we do not have optimizations for to use it with uh, one gigabyte pages because we don't have uh, 
support for the transparent huge pages. Um, and um, uh, with the single owner memory, I was thinking to uh, guarantee the, that pages are migratable and the uh, like ability to assemble, to, to be always assembled into one gigabyte chunks. Uh, okay, uh, so and and the last point with the performance is that um, hot plug is an expensive operation. It's kind of slow because during the hot plug you have to allocate uh, a lot of metadata and initialize it, uh, which takes a lot of time, such as uh, initialization of stock pages. And uh, the SOM uh, can be implemented such that the hot plug is not required. So uh, the SOM driver uh, would consists of two parts. So memory pool, which, uh, which is always managed in one gigabyte chunks or basically one gigabyte pages. And the source uh, for that pool can be uh, huge TLB pages because they have the huge uh, TLB, uh, the VMMAP optimization where we don't have uh, struct pages for the, uh, for, 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 for the tail pages. Uh, also, like DAX, which has a similar optimization, or even kernel external memory, such that uh, kernel does not even manage that memory, it's just uh, some physical addresses that were inserted into machines, such as using the CXL map. So, uh, we could also have uh, separate pools for the movable and unmovable memory, because we want to, uh, to be able to support uh, long pins. Uh, and uh, the second part is the SOM driver. So SOM driver would take the one gigabyte pages from the pool. Uh, the pages, uh, the one gigabyte pages are managed by bitmaps, so it's uh, very memory efficient, no, not much overhead. And, then, and because of the large chunks, the, it's also uh, like for the concurrency and for other problems, it, 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 the performance should be reasonable. Uh, the second one is the SOM driver, which manages in two megabyte granules. Uh, again, two megabyte doesn't have to be two megabyte. It could be four megabytes, eight megabytes, but uh, two megabyte l l sounds like a, a, a good enough size, and it also equals to uh, to, to, to the hu huge page on x86 and on uh, ARM with the 4K base pages. So uh, the list can be something like per MM struct uh, or per process that is basically a SOM driver man, uh, ha, ha, like keeps a data structure of the granule lists attached to the uh, process. Uh, the also SOM driver provides um, uh, new VMA that uh, new VMA type uh, that is that also has this uh, PFN map flag set. So we never actually try to look up uh, struct pages for, for its mappings. Uh, some handles uh, faults. It can be 4K, the minimum, and also um, it could be folio sized, as discussed in previous talks. So it, uh, like uh, order one, two, three, depends. Uh, some will also handle some to some migration and some to outside migration. So a page can be migrated from single owner memory into just regular uh, memory management uh, managed page. Uh, and uh, it should uh, add uh, support for, not for everything that is listed, but at least for some that is needed uh, in uh, and, and it can be expanded later. Uh, for some M advice calls, migrate pages, move pages, M lock, M protect, uh, PR, control, uh, PR control, which uh, PR control there is only one uh, uh, memory related uh, setting, which is to name the VMA, uh, and bind, set policy, and and so on. So there, there are of course some problems and. Um, so, like overall, like this sounds so cool, uh, except that uh, when when you go into details, uh, you need some more metadata to manage some features, um, and uh, so uh, the main problem that I see is actually handling uh, page aging because without LRU, um, without LRU pointers. That's kind of hard, and uh, so we've 
we had some discussion internally, and uh, one proposal was to basically still have something like struct pages, but like like sort of like have a new flag for the struct pages that these are actually tiny struct pages which have the uh, LRU pointers to handle the aging. But uh, so far I've been resisting, and uh, but I don't have a, a better solution for that yet. So that's something that uh, needs to be uh, thought through. Then uh, the uh, the support for the uh, basically gap support uh, for the PFN map type uh, VMAs. So not to look up, look up into struct pages when uh, when we do the uh, long term pins and short term pins. Uh, so swapping uh, is like it can be implemented independently, so we could add some uh, handlers to support just like some very specific swaps, like this swap. We, um, so NUMA support that would uh, th that's another thing that's m that's optional for now. But uh, for example, for CXL, where uh, for, for, for if, uh, if if the single owner memory is handled by CXL, and we assume there is like um, uh, the same latency for the newly attached memory, like NUMA wouldn't be an issue, but um, Mm, but we will probably want to have like a, a, at least uh, a pool per node or something like that. So we would also need to do the hardware poisoning. And finally, uh, somehow to add the support for the fallen mem descriptor. So basically, in the future, uh, when mem descriptors are around, they solve uh, one of the main problems that we have, which is the memory overhead. Uh, they, but they don't solve some other problems that are listed. But uh, uh, so the, and uh, we have this problem now, and we want to solve it quicker. But the mem descriptors are not going to be available for several years. So we need to have something, some some solution in between. Sooner, if you help. <laughs> um, in, it, seriously, this. Um, this feels like, okay, what if I get rid of the VM? What do I still need to re-implement? And it feels like you're re-implementing almost everything that's in the VM. Write a new kernel. <laughs> <laughs> right, well, you know, I, I wouldn't go so far as to say you're writing a whole new kernel, but it, it really feels so similar to huge TLBFS where it's like, okay, we're gonna do something really special, and the really special thing ends up being a completely parallel shadow VM. And I, I, I'm not, sh I don't understand what you end up winning when by the time you've added back in LRU pointers and swap and NUMA and, and mm -hmm. it's like, where's the, where's the win here? Yes, so if we, and, and, and that's why I've been resisting to like having this reduced uh, struct pages and the LRU pointers because then I agree with you, there is, uh, I don't see a big win here. Um, so, so if we reduce uh, the support for swapping and aging and just assume like huge TLB, which basically support none of that, th then, uh, then there is win that we, we can uh, very quickly and dynamically add memory into the system, like using CXL, for example, and uh, without the hot plug, use the kernel external memory, like using this driver. So, and, and also with a very small uh, overhead. Um, but I agree, it's a, it, it's a concern that if we need to have a support, and today we do have, uh, to, to, today in Google we do swapping, we do reclaims, we do the aging, and that, that, that is important part of the infrastructure. So we cannot just get rid of that. It, uh, and uh, unless we just support it on a very limited types of machines which do not support all of that because of the like special configurations. So, and regarding the implementing huge TLB, yes, it's very similar to that, except it's, it will live in its own driver. Uh, it's not going to touch uh, the core MM, and uh, it's. Uh, I think uh, it's similar to what Michel proposed uh, to someone in the earlier talk. Is just to, to rewrite huge TLB 
uh, in a driver to, to support some kind of use case. But uh, so uh, he, here we have a very specific use case, and th th that's what uh, I'm thinking to do actually. It's, uh, so so I, I'm curious. I mean, like most of what you want to achieve is actually like you you don't want a VM to manage your memory. You just want to do it your own. But why do you then need like huge TLBFS? Why like why don't you set aside some memory? During boot and let your oh, special yeah. driver. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A kernel external do. memory can be supported. It doesn't have to be huge to be. What I'm saying is that the pool can be anything. Like uh, yeah, right. And like yeah, the, yeah, the yeah. natural way would be like if if you want to do it your own way, you set aside memory and you manage that. But for for me, it gets confusing as soon as you try to then reuse some of the some of the infrastructure, like migrating back and forth, stuff like that. Maybe like this migrating from some to outside is just like hot plugging memory then and like fake removing it from Linux and stuff so like So page migration, uh, an example of, for like a, of a reason to do a page migration support is uh, to support a feature, MM feature that is not supported by SOM. So for example, if you want to swap a page, you can migrate it to be a normal page and then swap it. It's just like an example. Okay, so like you would actually want some kind of transition, like I'm, it, I as a driver, mm -hmm. I managed that memory, but now I'm going to hand it back to, to core MM and it, let it's it not, do You're it. not handling the memory back, you're handling the page back, so you actually copy the content of, of a page to a new place that is managed by the OS. Okay, if you, if you have a page. I, I, yes, if you have a page, that's right, yes. Okay, thanks. I mean, and this is just an example of why migration might be needed. It's it's not like um, uh, this is example is going to be used, like uh, because I, I don't think it's an efficient way to do the swapping. But I'm, it's just uh, so. An, another example would be like a long pin or something. Like if user wants to to do a long pin today, we migrate a page to zone normal. So here we would migrate, for example, a zone page which is always movable, movable to uh, a zone normal and then pin it. So that, that, that those are examples of why we want to migrate from SOM to outside. And then we also want to do SOM to SOM, which is to just to do the defrax and to, all, to be always able to allocate gigabyte pages. And I mean, this somehow like reminds me of the our approaches to do swapping in user space, I think, like like using some fancy user fault of the don't don't ask me about the details but essentially mm -hmm. you would like you as your driver manage your memory so you would like also try to find a different way to handle this swapping than like like letting core mm like mm -hmm. do that for you but like it's hard to imagine how they could look like and how it could not look hacky like to me it, it sounds like it's a very hacky thing to do like I'm gonna manage the memory, but every now and then I'm gonna do some weird calls into the kernel and like tell it, oh yeah, like um, th this is not LOU, I'm managing myself, but now like please swap it and stuff like that. So it sounds very hacky to me and hard to imagine how you can get it clean, that, that's all mm -hmm. I'm saying. That's the problem I'm having with mm -hmm. it. Yeah, that's, the, that's a reasonable concern, I, I agree. Uh, so unless we limit the number of features again. If, if the number of features is limited and um, uh, the driver, so, Yesterday, I talked about uh, migrating uh, jobs from uh, containers to the VM, and, uh, which we have another project. And um, I mean, this SOM driver would uh, would be perfect uh, as like a way to provide memory to the to those kind of VMs, but uh, mm -hmm. uh, with a limited uh, subset of functionality. Yeah, but the features won't never be limited, like. Once you have the basic driver, you'll get requests for more and more and more and more features. And it will never stop, you, you realize, right? OK, yes. Th th that's fair, yes. Uh, yeah. w w why am I call like, to, to him advice uh, something doesn't work? Yeah. <laughs> the, yes. the, the agreement with Dave Hansen when device tax went in, it was like, do not add more features. Like, this, is all, this is all you get. Like, don't add more. And so this, and because it's like, don't don't become huge TBFS, and this this seems like we want to start a ramp towards huge TBFS, but not get there all the way. So, um, what I described um, sounds to me uh, like a GPU driver. So basically, GPU has GPU memory, right? 
and it manages its own memory. It's a single, it's a single owner, right? And also, uh, it registers um, the uh, annual notifier so that it can um, interoperate with the, the host uh, MMU, right? That's something you want, definitely want to do because you want to swap, you want to um, uh, migrate pages, right? So you might not be able to, you know, achieve some of your goals you know, by writing a driver, new driver, and then um, allocate, um, from, you know, reserve part of DRAM memory as your private memory, and you, you, you don't really need to change the MM party. Part of oh, no, the, uh, I, I don't plan to change the uh, MM code except for just uh, some hooks that I needed to handle some, some of the same advice and migrate pages and so on calls. Uh, so majority of code will live in its own uh, driver, which is like uh, will show up to the user space as, as DFSOM. And to get the pages from the driver, the user would need to map uh, DFSOM with this like specified length, and that's how the pages are going to be um, allocated. Okay. And and the SOM driver will have its own uh, VMA. Uh, so uh, yes. we have a, a number of drivers that implement their own VMA. So like every, right. That's why like VMA specific operations are going to be handled by this driver. Faults are going to be handled and so on. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So uh, then my question uh, will be uh, what um, prevents you from uh, doing that, from you know achieving your goals by just adding new driver? Very similar to a GPU driver. And re yeah, right. No, I wouldn't call it DRAM driver, you know, <laughs> but uh, you, you know, you reserve part of DRAM as a pr as your private memory, and then you um, um, export it to user space. User space can map it, it can use whatever way um, um, it, it it wants. Uh, D what DRM? Oh, okay, DRM driver. Yes, DRM driver. There, yeah, right. That's that's the term. Yeah, um, I, this is this this is a sub allocator. It, it wants to be a sub allocator. But you mentioned GPU driver, and and I'm tech lead for you know part of a GPU driver. And so we we have found that we want everything, and so we <laughs> <laughs> we we don't just have a cordoned off area of oh here's GPU memory. We integrate completely with the memory management system. And that makes us happy. We get all the features, and then if they don't run properly, we try to submit patches. And I, I cannot imagine trying to do this. Um, well, actually, I can't imagine, because there's, there's portions of the old driver that have, of course, in a huge company, wandered off and attempted you know, variations on this, and it, and it just doesn't go well. You, you want to integrate with MM and then fix core MM. So I just don't want to be held up as an example of this is how it's done in GPU because it's it's not. Where is the biggest overhead? You, you said it's, it's all like one point six struct pages. So maybe. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right, that's all I got. <laughs> Okay, uh, c can we reduce the size of struct pages? Like, uh, like uh, what? Uh, like, uh, for example, c can we remove something like? Um, so, so c can we make struct pages less than sixty-four bytes? Can we remove six? Uh, the, yeah. the, the the plan is to get them to eight bytes. How many? Eight. No, that, that is I understand. The, 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 the uh, mem desks and uh, like uh, I'm talking about uh, in a short term, like no. not. In no, there is absolutely no way to get them smaller in the short term. Well, I mean, no. What What about? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> not that either. <laughs> Also yeah, I, I looked. At, yes, I looked at the fields. <laughs> it's not like I'm just making stuff up. Yeah, I, I, I went like a field after a field, but uh, uh, but, but just the, the one that uh, I, I've been thinking about is: uh, is there a reasonable way to to remove um, uh, the signal pointer from the like MCG or something? Yes, 
you have to maintain that somewhere we used to be outside, it was worse. And also you have to have page, uh, struct page uh, aligned, so pretty much that. Yeah, the, the page alignment, the stock page alignment, that's like what actually, uh, yeah. So, so you want to make the uh, stock page smaller, but today I got email from Kent that the code taking guys decided to put a new pointer into struct page, so it will be larger. <laughs> but uh, actually, a st struct page align alignment, uh, I, I don't think there's actually a requirement for, for it to be 64 byte aligned. W what is that? 16 by it, okay. Uh, the, the reason why I'm saying is that it doesn't have to be 64 by the line because I mean we can have bigger uh, struct pages based on like very, uh, various compilation uh, configs. But it has to be 16 by the line, I say. Yeah, so in, uh, can we remove two things like men? <laughs> so, so, so like map, co map count is not needed for single owner memory. <laughs> so so be, yeah. be, being an array, I think this rock pages also um, have um, their advantages, right? And the symbol is so uh, efficient, right? And, and I understand, you know, nobody likes the overhead part, but uh, we, we, I, I don't think we should overlook the, um, the, the, you know, the, the, the good bits, you know, from this array, large chunk of array, right? Can, can you conclude? Yeah. So, I, I, so yeah, we are, we are out of time. It's actually lunchtime. So thank you, everyone. And uh, we can discuss. Uh, offline. <laughs>